I still get excited every single time I get a board. The first board I shaped, uh, I was about eight, eight or nine years old. I remember taking it down to the beach the first day and all, the, all, the, all my friends were looking at it and they were like, what is this thing? What is this thing? Yuck, yuck. And I was like, oh, this, is, this goes so good. This goes so good. I rode it for like two years. I think it went pretty bad, but I just loved it. The fact that I shaped it, it was just the best thing ever. This year is definitely, my main focus has been to, to sort my equipment out. And I started working closely with Mike and Trav from, from Channel Islands. And I've also been fortunate enough to have my dad as a shaper growing up. So uh, that helps me know a lot about surfboards. And yeah, I just ended up making a bunch of really good boards. Whatever spot I'm going to, I can tweak, you know, little things here and there to, to make it go at that spot. Yeah, you know, my general size shortboard is probably 6'2 to 6'2 and a half, just over 90, 19 and a quarter wide, two and a half thick. Sometimes I go a little over, two and five eighths, and just, you know, shave it down a little bit on the rails. But um, for the most part, those are my dimensions. We can't make the fire. Yeah, I think the shorter boards, um, you know, so many of the guys are trying them now, Kelly, Dan, everyone's going shorter. You know, for myself, I can't really go too too much smaller or else, you know, I end up uh, losing paddle power and things like that. But the smallest board I'll probably ride is about a 5.10 or, or 5.11. About three or four years ago, I was really sold on fixed fins. I just found that, you know, the f future fins were um, really easy for me to travel with and at the same time they were giving me the same results as fixed fins was. You know, luckily I worked really close with Future and, and they, uh, they came up with a fin with myself. So I just really, I, I love a lot of drive off the bottom and to be able to, to get a lot of release off the top that's um, that's kind of where I want my surfing to be able to be headed towards and uh, I feel like my fin does that. You know, in this month and a half strip, I would say I go through about probably 10 to 20 boards. I'd have just from Snapper through Margaret's through Bells. And just because the waves, they're so different. You just need a different piece of equipment for, for every kind of condition. 2013, I'd probably go through, I'd say, 60 to 80 boards a year. Some of them I'll ride once or twice, some of them I'll, I'll ride till you can't ride them anymore. 